What are you up to, Mr. Grant? Milking. Milking? Milking the goats. Fantastic. How many times have you done this by yourself? Twice. Today's the second time? Mm-hmm. Pretty comfortable with it? Yeah. Hard job, easy job? Mm, hard and easy at the same time. Yeah? What's hard about it? Lola. <laughs> Lola. Where is she? Lola, the herd queen. She makes things difficult. Uh -huh. Luna, she's over here chewing on my pants. Yeah. Uh. And Mr. Willie here. Mr. Willie. Yeah, he's had to compete. His mama had triplets. He's been uh, getting the short end of the stick when it comes to milk. We've been allowing him to nurse on some of the other mamas to make sure he's getting plenty of milk. Right, Loretta? She's contributed. Thank you, sweetheart. All right, time to feed everybody. So I showed you the incubator that I built. And this, my friends, are the results. 14, 15, 16. Cool. We'll get them out of here soon and set them up in a brooder with heat lamp, fresh wood shavings, food and water, that kind of stuff. Ooh, look what I just found. Hey, buddy. What are you doing all the way down there? I'm really digging wheelbarrow life. This makes hauling things around a lot easier. So what I've got in here is uh, chicken food. This is for the goats and the dog food is in there. I have pig food here for the little guys. And these two are our scrap buckets that just need to go back up to the house. For me to carry five buckets, even if they were empty, would be a chore. <laughs> Very cool. Everybody's grumpy because it's feeding time, but I wanted to show you, first of all, Miss Heidi. <laughs> Heidi girl, she is so excited. Anyways, so I moved the goat fence, not very much, but you can see <laughs> this is where they were. And they have cleared out the forest here pretty well. And we moved them to this is the very next spot and you can see how green this is and they've actually done a pretty good job of it yesterday clearing it out it's kind of difficult to film moving the fence it is brutal <clears throat> but it gets easier as we move them because they clear out the pigs the goats the cow they clear out a lot of this underbrush it makes it easier to work now let's get them fed there you go buddies hop up little guy <laughs> on And Miss Heidi, she's just in the mix. She's so funny. She just hangs out. Everybody wants to be her friend, at least she thinks, while they're eating. They're not running away from her or ramming into her. And she just, she comes and hangs out while everybody eats. You guys don't like this stuff. I'm gonna have to figure out a way to attach uh, the water and the feed to the cage itself because these guys, <clears throat> they get moved every single day. 
they're only man <clears throat> maybe three weeks old and they're this big already very very dense birds uh, and they won't need a heat lamp for much longer and we'll get them moved All right, so we're just gonna make sure we didn't squish anybody. Sometimes they get trapped. Everybody looks happy. some lettuce, some curdled milk, and some grain. She's a happy, happy girl. We'll get them all moved here pretty quick. We want to put them in here for uh, safety when they're really young and also teach them how this electric fence works so when we move them out in the woods they don't run out and get got. We're getting big, y'all. Thanks, Miss Sasha. We got a new watering setup, a 55 gallon drum with an outlet on the bottom to the pigs. We'll chew on it and the water comes out. We'll set it up on this stand here so it's elevated and we'll actually bury that in the ground about a foot to prevent them from knocking it over because they will. We're also going to set it up against a tree, run a ratchet strap across the top to prevent them from knocking it over as well. It's tough to keep water for pigs unless it's just in the ground because they will knock it over. They want to lay in it. They want to play in it. Yeah, buddy. Yeah, buddy. <laughs> so I almost forgot to tell you, yesterday, yesterday, these three pigs got out. Every now and then, they'll push the uh, dirt onto the electric fence, and once the electric fence is flat on the ground, they don't fear stepping over it. And Lara was pouring coffee. You could imagine the uh, tranquil Disney music in the background as she's waking up, pouring her coffee. <laughs> and then she notices our pigs. That's probably two or 300 yards away from where they're supposed to be. It started raining pretty heavy, so I wanted to get the camera indoors. Um, but what I was saying is it wasn't really a big deal getting the pigs back to where they needed to go because we worked really hard around here uh, spending time with our animals, uh, letting them know where the food comes from, um, and as silly as it sounds, <coughs> uh, making the same sounds over and over and over again. Uh, when Lara wants goats, she says, come on goats. Uh, when I feed pigs, 
uh, every single time. Pig, pig, pig! And I get a little grief for singing to my pigs, but the reality is, is yesterday they were hesitant to follow Lara with the pig, uh, with the food bucket. But as soon as I stepped outside and started saying pig, 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 uh, they ran to me and they followed me all the way back down uh, to where they were supposed to go. We fixed the fence and the rest is history. But as you're raising animals, uh, as silly as you might feel, create routine uh, and similar sounds, similar actions and behaviors. And these animals will do just about whatever you want them to. Even when they escape, they don't want to go anywhere. They like you feeding them easy food. And dare I say, they might even like you. Probably not. Mr. Grant, he's always been a pretty good farmhand. But he is learning uh, some of the critical skills of a homestead, like milking the goats, milking the cow. You've milked Jewel more than once by yourself, huh? Mm, about four times. Four times? And you said today was your second time milking the goats by yourself? Yep. And cool. he did a great job. Yeah? I'm very okay with uh, what he's bringing up as far as quantity of milk. And they're getting used to him. Those goats aren't real nice to people that are new. <laughs> um. Hey, buddy. Hi. My little buddy here comes for his lovin's in the morning. Mm-hmm. Yes, you guys. Yeah. Um, but Grant's doing a good job with goats. I'm thankful to have backup since our farmhand moved out. It's nice to have a little bit of backup. Not that Jeff can't do it. He totally can. They're just not his favorite things in the whole wide world. Um, his hands are gigantic, mine are not, so milking goats is harder for him. Okay, cool. I gotta milk this thing before she eats me out of house and home. Mm -hmm. Mm hmm You feel pretty confident about what you've been doing? Yeah. There's still some things you're uneasy about or unsure about, or you got it figured out? I think I got it. <laughs> <laughs> Obviously, he has it all figured out. It's closer to 15 than we are, Dad. He knows it all. Mine is sitting on a bucket without falling over. Hey, that wasn't part of Life Skills 202. Yeah, so. we didn't teach that class yet. No. Those silly homeschool people, they forget to teach the most important things. How to sit on a bucket. Yup. Awesome, man. Help your mom out. Okay. Thank you for all your hard work, sir. Yes. And thank you, ma'am, for all of the milk that you give us and for giving us this beautiful baby over here. <laughs> all right so all of this is what happens before we eat breakfast we don't get started before the sun comes up like your stereotypical farmer or at least what you hear i'll tell you the truth i wake up at 5 45 and typically just relax, talk to God. And <clears throat> about 7, 7.30ish in that range, we get up and make coffee. <sighs> Sometimes we eat breakfast that early, but most of the time we just spend time together as a family and kind of wake up and get rid of any grumps if we need to. Woo wee It's hot already. And then between 8 and 8.30 we get out and we take care of all of our chores. It takes us about an hour to feed everybody and milk everybody. And then we start the rest of our day. Which includes running a business, managing projects, you know, building a farm. That's a process that never stops. So right now, I'm wore out. All right now I'm gonna take, uh, empty out the truck. We're gonna load up some uh, orders for our customers. Whew! All in the morning's work. Back at it. 